man we back episode 17 it's uh 8 7 21 p.m so august 7th 2024 2 21 p.m i, I was i was before i was record, i wasn't even gonna record an episode today because i'm kind of ahead of the game of my um of the challenge that i challenged myself to record 100 of these episodes by the end of the year and i'm i'm way ahead i'm way way ahead but that's cool though um i was chilling and i heard this afro beat song and i was looking for the title of it and i could not find the title of it and it was um it was aggravating me so i decided to come record the episode i don't know what this episode is going to be about as of yet but we're going to try to see if we can learn something about ourselves episode 17 100 simple life truths episode 17 it's called don't sabotage yourself don't sabotage yourself this is facts this is facts this is facts don't sabotage yourself i think that's pretty self-explanatory in my eyes it seems it seems it feels pretty self-explanatory just do what's in your best interest at all times i sabotage myself a lot i'll be i'll be locked in and then you know I could I could step off and then I re- I realized like quick like hold on why am I why am I feeding you know what I mean why why am I sabotaging myself like I I, I got a clear mindset and I'm not really I'm not ready to um lose that for nothing so yeah um don't sabotage yourself it starts off as often our biggest obstacle in life is simply ourselves our mind can use its creative powers to give us plenty to worry about and fear those worries and fears can serve to prevent us from moving forward in life correct uh there's a there's a quote that says that you shouldn't you shouldn't live it you shouldn't live it twice stop worrying stop worrying stop worrying about things that aren't in not necessarily aren't in your control but stop being afraid of just things in general I mean, I, you, your, your mind, the human brain is, is like super powerful. So if you believe you could do it and you believe you can't, you're going to be right whichever way you believe. So why don't you breathe? Why don't you believe the affirmative and not the negative? Um, and our, and our need to avoid suffering, we tend to stick to the comfortable things, whether you're in, whether they're in our best interest or not. This is particularly common in relationships. The transition of letting people go and and attempting to seek out new people can be daunting. We can easily decide to avoid these things and activities by just sticking with what we have become. What we have become. After all, it is, after all, it's what we know and what we're used to, comfort. So yeah, uh, again, step out of your comfort zone. And don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone, especially when it comes, well, in this aspect, he's saying in aspect of relationships, sometimes we, um, at the end of a relationship, what he's saying here, uh, the transition of letting people go and seeking new people can be daunting. So once you, once you're in the process of letting someone go and, and you're looking for new people to fill whatever void that that person left in your life, it's, it can be easy to just revert back to that person even though we know it's not in our best interest if you know what you want from life don't let anyone tell you that it can't be obtained correct especially if you're the one telling it to yourself we only allow others to speak to us in a certain way if it matches the thoughts and feelings we already have absolutely correct absolutely correct uh especially now like i'm learning to like keep some of my goals and my ambitions to myself somewhat like in terms of the minute details like i might tell somebody the big details like oh i want to do this i want to do that but i keep the smaller details to my to myself because because a lot of people will try to change your mind or tell you you can't do things and we don't need that in our lives especially if we're telling ourselves we can't do something you're supposed to have all the confidence in the world to just do it and even if it fails so what you did it like you you tried is is a life a life worth living is a life worth trying so try it you know what i mean like 
as long as you're not hurting anybody or hurting yourself, you got nothing, you got really nothing to lose by trying. So step out of that comfort zone, try and don't let your own mind, your own thoughts stop you. Don't let others put you down and definitely do not put yourself down. It's point, It's a pointless act. If you recognize something in yourself, you feel you feel needs improvement. Don't wallow in self pity. Improve it. So basically, basically what he's saying is, if you feel like you lack in certain areas, don't don't wallow in it and don't make that become your identity. Don't don't identify with the things that you lack. Identify the things that you lack and go and fix it. Go change it. Like or. Yeah, basically, basically with, with with things in your lack. Let me go. Let me go back to that. He says, "If you recognize something in yourself, you feel needs improvement. Don't wallow in self in, in self pity. Improve it, which is facts. It's, it's I agree. Like I said, if there's something that you want to learn, something that you think that you want to do, that you are kind of doubting yourself in terms, don't let that self pity. Don't let that doubt consume you. Like." understand it and and put it to the side understand it and put it to the side and still go and do what you need to do is is you don't want you don't want to be towards the end of your life with regrets try everything even even if it just comes up in your mind as a quick thought or you see something and it, it sparks your interest go try it go do it you know what i mean because you don't want to sit there and live life with regrets he says as always, this is easier said than done. I'm not here to tell you to sell you easy. I'm here to remind to remind you that you always knew you always knew what needed to be done. And I'm just letting you know it's worth the effort. You're worth the effort. Agreed. Agreed. You can be you can be doing something. And you and or you could want to do something and you know it's hard, you know it's hard and and, and you don't want to go through the, the pressure. I read another quote that says, Life gets hard because letting your old self go is is hard. I forgot how the quote went, but it's basically saying when you're growing, when you're changing, life is gonna get hard because you gotta you gotta break through to your new self, break into your new self. So for me. There's certain things that I know that I need to do and I know that it's hard. I know that it's hard and, and in some aspects I uh I, I might give I might give outside sources the power to the the depict how how the process goes, which I which you should never do that. You should just let you should keep all the power to yourself. Let, let let yourself have all the power in terms of how your life is going or how your life is going to proceed. Never never put that power in someone else's hands because they're not living your life. They're not with you twenty four seven. They're not they they don't they don't suffer when you suffer. I mean, in certain in some cases, yeah, cool. But overall, when 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 you suffer, you're pretty much suffering alone. It's it's the it's the times when you. When you're up and you're living life is when everyone wants to gravitate towards you or or latch on to you in terms of celebrating your wins. Celebrate your wins, but also celebrate your losses, celebrate your defeats as well. If that makes sense, I feel like, like he said, it's, it sounds it's easier said than done. Like I can sit here and talk about it all day, but it's a different thing to actually put it into action because me, I... I I fall I fall off so so often, I fall off so often. But I recognize it within that minute, and then I'm right back. I'm right back, and I, and sometimes I'll sit there and, and and let things play out, knowing knowing that it's not in my best interest, but knowing also that letting it play out is a learning experience. It helps me learn more about how I react to certain situations, how I will react to certain things. Sometimes you gotta put yourself in an environment to control to to fail in a controlled environment. You 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 go you do something knowing you're gonna fail just to see how you're gonna react to it, how, how it's gonna change you, just so you could get certain lessons. He goes on to say the moment you realize that your thoughts have such a dramatic impact on your mood, being an ability to function is is the same moment you can begin to shift those thoughts to improve things. 
Just facts. If you if you know your negative thoughts is holding you back, change your thoughts and your positive thoughts will excel you forward. A chic, the in chic philosophy, Baba Nayak wrote, "Men jetty jet jagnet," <laughs> which means conquered minds, conquered worlds. Correct, correct. The mind is beautiful, and if you think you can do it, you will do it. If you think you can't do it, you won't do it. So always, always think positive. Run it, like do it. It amazes me how we function in the inside. On the outside world when we're in the control of the world inside it amazes me how it amazes me how well we function in the outside world when we're in control of our world inside okay basically what he's saying in that part is once you control your mind your, your mind body and thoughts the outside world your, your, your inner self is what controls your outer self so as you can control as you can control your inner thoughts and your inner feelings and stuff like that then everything else around you becomes easy to control easy to maintain easy to just go through so this episode this episode was um inter- it was interesting to me it was interesting to me because it came at a weird time not necessarily a weird time but it came at an interesting time interesting time because my my life is interesting to say the least and a lot of things just just happen just at random just randomly and i sit there and i laugh at it and i laugh at it and i and i let things play out i let things play out just to see how it's going to play out because in the, at the end of the day it doesn't affect me in the long run you know what i'm saying like if if i knew it was it was like life or death or something that can really change the whole trajectory of my world then of course I wouldn't just let things play out. I I would control it more. But when you let control go a little bit, it puts you more in control. It will, it will put you in better control for the future. So wars are won. What's what's the quote? You might have won the battle, but you didn't win the war. Like I'm I'm okay with like for one, I always say I'm okay with being wrong and I'm okay with like taking my losses because nobody that's ever won a championship has not lost along the road so the losses are part of, are all part of the journey the losses are, are on the path they're destined on the path so like the last episode said when you're on your path you can create your own path so if you if you decide that you want to explore a little bit or get off the beaten path of what your vision is and you know you'll always be able to get back to it then go ahead take that take that one step left take that one step right as long as you know that you still going to succeed at the end of the day cool it's, it's not it's, it's like side quests and as you guys know i'm on a bunch of side quests. like this this series right now is technically a side quest for me like this this doesn't have any real like bearing on my life but i'm it's an experiment in terms of me seeing where it can go and if it blows up it blows up if it don't hey it doesn't really affect me because it's a side quest. It's not. It's not my main goal. And of course, with your side quest, you still want to put your all into it, as if it's the main thing, as it's as if it's your real goal. But you should put your all into everything you do. But if if it's not, if it's um, if you're not doing that, then you're not really getting real results. Other than that, I hope y'all learned that something today about yourselves. If you did, if you didn't, cool. I'm about to get off of this. I got some homework I got to do. I want to go to the gym, but I'm I'm currently uh, vehicleless, so I won't be back in the gym until probably Saturday, which right now is Wednesday. So I'm taking like two days off. I'm gonna do some home stuff. I'm gonna do like a couple stretches, push ups, and stuff like that, just to keep my body active. Still gonna like keep my calories up, my protein up. And other than that, comment down below if you agree, disagree. Comment down below anything. Start a conversation. Make a friend. Other than that, uh, we out.